We are simulcasting at PrisonPlanet.tv. The syndicated radio show is in living color. If you're a PrisonPlanet.tv member, come up in about 10 minutes. I'm going to debut here streaming live over the web, Fall of the Republic. And for radio listeners, it'll also be informative, most of its audio clips. Uh, the trailer for my new film. This is the first trailer. We've got more detailed trailers coming out in the next month. The release date is October 21st. The film will be done in the next month, and then we'll be shipping out to you again in the middle of uh, October. So you should be getting it in the mail right around release time. But I wanted to get Cindy Sheehan on, and we appreciate her popping in to give us a report on what's happening. Martha's Vineyard. One of the favorite hangouts of the Clintons and Walter Cronkite and, and kind of the eastern establishment of the eugenicist clan. And Cindy Sheehan, who lost her son, of course, uh, in Iraq, became a national icon standing up to Bush at the Crawford Ranch. Now, Obama's in the news saying, please give my family privacy. Oh, but his spy satellites and NSA phone tapping and his Blackwater thugs, they're not giving us any rest. And so there's hardly any mainstream media, at least I searched it this morning, I saw some, about Cindy Sheehan with all these other great peace activists because, again, it was trending and fun to protest Bush knowing he wouldn't end the war for the establishment. But now that they're in power, like Rahm Emanuel said, you know, he campaigned against Democrats and ran the Democratic Party operation against Democrats that were actually against war. And the corporate guys tried to throw Dennis Kucinich out because he's actually a real liberal and against war and a real progressive. So Cindy Sheehan is out there shattering the left-right paradigm. We've been publishing at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com the articles and reports she's been putting out. They've got YouTube videos up. Get her information out viral and ask the media, why aren't you covering this? More troops are dying under Obama than under Bush. He's expanding the wars. All his top generals say 10 to 15 years before they leave. They rewrote the maps of the U.S. bases so they weren't part of the cities to claim they left the cities. Corporate, lawyer, semantical games. Cindy Sheehan from Martha's Vineyard, site of Lord Obama vacationing. Cindy, good to have you here with us. Um, hi, Alex. Thank you so much for helping to promote this protest and promote the fact that, like you said, even though there's a change in regime, there's the only change in policy has been for the worst. And... And we just really do reclaim our integrity and our morality in the anti-war movement to to say that. The wars, we were right to say the wars were wrong under Bush, and we're still right to say they're still wrong under Obama. And to me, it's a lack of media coverage, but it's also a lack of any kind of cooperation or solidarity that I'm not receiving from the from the um, establishment anti-war movement. Well, that's because the me, Ford Foundation. Sad. That's because the Ford Foundation, as you know, and these other big money groups run and control the fake left. It, it, it's just, I mean, where is Amy Goodman? Where are all these groups? Uh, continue, uh, please, Cindy Sheehan. Tell us what's happening out there. How many people are out there? Where you're located, so other people can come join you. How long you're going to be there? What the Secret Service is doing? All I can say um, for the moment is that to get a list of events, they can go to my blog or to your website, and it's at Cindy Sheehan Soapbox Blogspot.com. The first event that we're going to have that's organized <coughs> will be a corporate media conference tomorrow at 11, so we'll see how much, how much uh, coverage we get uh, protesting Obama. But another thing is, is that we're going to be writing of people all over the world an international people's declaration of peace. And that's to start a grassroots movement because, <clears throat> as I've said so many times, the robber class doesn't want to change. You know, we can't force the robber class to change, especially if so many of our the so-called opposition has been co-opted by the by the two-party system or whatever, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to be writing that. We hope that we'll get solidarity from from you and from your listeners on this, this People's Declaration of Peace that we'll be writing. Um, I'm staying just right around the corner from Obama, so I'm hoping to bump into him if he ventures out of his compound. Now, again, for people geographically, tell folks where Martha's Vineyard is, where the press conference is. A lot of people aren't online or... Or uh, 
I mean, how do people well, come out to this? Do we call the media, challenge them to be there? What do we do? Well, absolutely. You know the media is already there because Obama's there. So what we have to do is you can call the, the media station at Oak Bluff Elementary School. That's where the press conference is going to be tomorrow at 11. We're having a large um, anti-war rally on Saturday, if people who are in Massachusetts or around this area can get to Martha's Vineyard, um, we will have a, a large um, vigil rally teaching against the war. And the island's fairly small, and we're going to blanket the island. We have support from people on Martha's Vineyard who have offered us housing, offered us places to hang our banners, places to put signs, places do our vigil. So we're going to be all over that island because we don't want Obama or the press or the anti-war movement to not know that we're there still protesting the wars like we were when Bush was president. What response are you starting to get? I mean, I do see you getting more attention than, than you were a few months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the positive responses you're getting from the anti-war community or just the sanity community? And mm -hmm. what responses are you getting that are negative? Well, it's, uh, it's interesting that the negative responses I'm getting are from people who would, I think, call themselves anti-war progressive, saying that I should uh, give Obama a rest, that I should let him have a peaceful vacation. Well, Alex, you know, um, four of our troops were killed yesterday in Afghanistan. I don't know, even know how many Afghans or Pakistanis were killed yesterday. And, yeah, they're um, getting a long rest now. Yeah, so that, exactly. Exactly. So why does he deserve a peaceful vacation? The world deserves a vacation from war and a vacation from body bags. It doesn't stop no matter what the president does. And by the way, Cindy, we know what this war is about. I mean, I saw Admiral Mullen on CNN two nights ago making up stuff about why the opium has gone over 12 times what it was. I mean, right. since the right. liberation and then BBC admits, oh, we guard the opium so the warlords don't get it. And then suddenly right. heroin is all over the streets. They're right. there just like the Russians were there to get that smack. Right. Well, and then also there's a there's the whole um, pipeline thing to get to get the um, oil to Asia from from the Middle East. So of course it's for profit. Of course that's that's right. Black tar heroin and, black, black, tar, heroin and black gold. Black tar heroin and black gold. That's what they're always for. So um, <clears throat> yep. Yep, so that's what we're doing is we're getting a lot of excitement. We're we're getting I'm getting mostly support, which is a very gratifying to me. And thank you for your support and letting your listeners and your your viewers know what we're doing cuz that's really important too. Well, I mean, where are you bivouacked? Uh, how do folks physically get in a car right now, get over there? How long are you going to be there again? I'm going to be here until Sunday when the president leaves. So like I said, we're going to be all over the island. They can, um, there's phone numbers that people can call to find out where we're going to be exactly if people can get over. There's emails. People can email me directly, Cindy at CindySheehanSoapbox.com. If you tell us, it's not like Crawford where we had a camp. It's gonna, we're going to be all over that island every day. Well, Cindy, this is very exciting, and I'd like to get some updates from you again uh, throughout the week here and, and uh, maybe on Sunday on the Sunday show when it's all over, kind of a recapping final event for people out there driving along in their cars or listening on shortwave or whatever uh, or on satellite. Slowly give out the website address again. Okay, Cindy, Sheehan, Soapbox, dot blogspot, dot com. There's uh, a schedule of times, dates, and places where we will be for sure that we know already. There, there's a place where people can donate to help us with expenses, and just a place where <laughs> you can see the, the ideology or the philosophy of why we're out there. Cindy, let me ask you a question of, in closing. Are you getting any media coming to you? Before, they were mobbing you. You were having to hide in a trailer, yeah. giving interviews 15 right. hours a day. <laughs> Right. Uh, now what's happening? The, there seems to be some interest. I, I talked to some um, corporate media newspapers today, so it, it, it's not like it was when I was in Crawford, that's for sure. So I, I find that very interesting.
Well, I mean, number one, it's a great story. Cindy Sheehan now back. You know, this has been going on for seven years. Here's Cindy Sheehan, you know, five years into this. Now she's back. It's still happening under Obama. That's a big story. It, uh, well, I've, the, been, I've been trying to be low-key until our press event tomorrow. So after the press event tomorrow, we'll see what happens. Okay, we'll check in with you again. Cindy Sheehan, thank you. Okay, great, Alex. Thank you. Thank you so much. And again, we'll definitely at least check in with her Sunday in the aftermath of all of this. Uh, the media should be knocking her door down. But, 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 but no, it's so trendy and fun to have Obama trying to start wars with the Russians and putting more troops into Afghanistan and wanting to go into Pakistan and predator drones and 100,000 plus troops still in Iraq and never leaving.